Let's have a look at the first hands-on. We will execute CoreMark on STM32L5 Discovery Kit and we'll do that at two various frequencies, at the maximum 110 MHz and then at 24 MHz. And the goal is to see that the CoreMark score is linear with frequency, which is thanks to the fact that there is a low number of wait states on the internal flash and thanks to the iCache that accelerates the code execution at higher frequencies. The application output some useful information on the ST-Link virtual COM port that we will display on the terminal window, in this case the Tata term. I'm going to use STM32 L5 Discovery Kit that has the version of L5 with the integrated SMPS. On the board you'll also find ST-Link V3, uh, power shield to do power consumption measurement, and various other components such as external memories, Bluetooth module, etc. To display some runtime messages during the CoreMark execution, we will use uh, the virtual COM port of the ST-Link. And in the next hands-on, we'll also use the Cube Monitor Power to measure the consumption during the execution of CoreMark. In the link underneath this video, you will find all the materials to be able to reproduce everything that you see in this hands-on. Throughout the video, I will only use binaries, but you are free to have a look inside the source code later on. Please make sure that you unzip the folder in the path with no spaces. This is especially important because of the batch script that opens the TerraTerm window. Let's start by connecting USB cable to ST-Link V3 connector. Then we should make sure the jumpers and switches are in the correct position. The jumper at the bottom right should be in the rightmost, rightmost position, uh, in the position 5V from the ST-Link. And the switch in the middle of the board should be in the right position also on the VDD. This will make sure that the target microcontroller is properly supplied from the ST-Link. Then go to the hands-on folder and start the TerraTerm script. This will launch the standalone TerraTerm that is included inside the tools folder. If you have troubles doing that, just open your preferred terminal window and set up the connection parameters as highlighted in the slide. So the USB cable is now plugged into the ST-Link. Uh, we can connect to the target and flash the two binaries. So I have pre-compiled uh, one binary uh, for CoreMark running at 110 megahertz and a second one running at 24. ST-Link enumerates also as a mass storage. So the easiest way to flash, flash a binary is simply drag and drop it to the ST-Link mass storage. So in just a moment, uh, you see the binary was flashed and the core mark is immediately executed. If I press the reset, it will start from the beginning. So the core mark needs to run for at least 10 seconds to get valid uh, result. So let's wait a bit. Okay, and here we go. Uh, you see the code ran for 11 seconds, which is fine. It ran 5000 iterations. So the core mark score is 443 iterations per second. I used uh, ARMC v 6.14 as a compiler and set the flags to optimize for speed. The code is of course running from flash and uh, at the very bottom we see the confirmation of the frequency uh, which is 110 megahertz. So let's now run the second binary I will just flash it in. Again, we need to wait at least 10 seconds to get a valid, valid result. And here we go. The core mark score is 98.3 iterations per second. So if we divide uh, the core mark score with the frequency, we get approximately uh, four for both cases, which is a proof that the relationship is in fact linear. 
Here you see another comparison of STM32L5 with one of our competitor that is also based on Cortex-M33. To make this comparison fair, we are using the same compiler and the same compiler flags. This is also the reason why the result for 110 MHz is few percent less than in the demonstration that we have just did with ARM CLANG. L5 scores at 80 MHz just few points less than the other device at 150. So to summarize, the system level architecture of a chip is extremely important factor that affects not only the performance but also power efficiency, as you will see in the next demonstration.